him softly. Now, Kill Him Softly stars Brad Pitt and it's directed by Andrew Dominic. Now, this is the second film they actually done together. The first film was The Assassination of Jesse James, which is one of my favorite Brad Pitt movies. In that movie, he gave an excellent performance and a very intimidating performance playing Jesse James. So that's why I was looking forward to Killing Him Softly. Now, the plot for Killing Him Softly is how two incompetent robbers rob, rob a mob card game. And after that card game is robbed, the mob wants their revenge. And they hired Brad Pitt's character to right the wrong, or a hitman to right the wrong. So this is a performance driven movie. So you really lean on the actors playing their performance to make this movie good. And in this movie, Brad Pitt does the same thing like he did before in The Assassination of Jesse James. But it's a little bit more of a laid back type of slick character, making him more cool. And in this movie, he did a great job, or did a good job in playing that type of role. And Andrew John Blake knows how to get a good performance out of Brad Pitt. So it's not if it's no let down there. Now one thing about this movie is kind of like slowly paced. And sometimes they had equal balance to it with the action scenes and some of the slowly paced scenes. It's kind of like it kind of had a blend balance, but sometimes it was like off and on for some parts. And sometimes that really got a little annoying. Certain scenes they had music that goes along with the scene, made it kind of like ironic. I said, okay, that was kind of good, but sometimes it really got annoying and a little bit over tedious to some points. Not to say it was bad always, but I thought it was overly done. I came with Sophie is a gritty movie, but sometimes it had it was kinda I kinda like felt it was unbalanced, so to speak, sometimes. Um not to say not to say it was a bad movie like I said before, but I thought it, it was missing something. I was missing like a, a hit to it. I really a power punch that could send it over the top. I just felt it could have had something more to it. I'm not saying it was a bad movie. And I'm not saying I'm not saying it was a great movie. I found it to be kind of in between. I wanted a little more from Killing Them Softly than what I expected from an Andrew Dominic and Brad Pitt type of movie. But I enjoyed it. But I wanted a little more. So for me, I felt that this was like an in between type of film. I wouldn't say go. I wouldn't say go right out to the movies and go see it. But I wouldn't say ah, oh, rent it on Netflix when it comes out. I say see it when, whenever you want to, but overall, overall, Kill Em Softly was an alright, decent movie. I enjoyed it for what it was, but I wish it had a little more punch to what it actually had. So for me, Kill Em Softly gets, gets three and a half out of five stars. Not a great movie, but it wasn't a bad movie. So if you like this review, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Movie Nation.